Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. It's time for another Handgun Showdown, where the viewers of this channel decide which manufacturer produces the better handguns. We've got a good one today. It's Taurus versus Star USA. Both budget-friendly handguns. Both enjoy a fine reputation. I think this will be a very <laughs> solid showdown. But before we get into that, I have to report the results from the last handgun showdown where we aligned SIG versus HK. This was a showdown like none other. Tons of comments. But in the end, SIG took it. And I think it's because of the variety they offer. They, they offer a handgun in every category you can imagine. HK is a bit limited. They got a lot of votes. I truly believe if HK had the variety that SIG did, HK would have won. But... Sig has the variety. They won the showdown. This will be a good one. Taurus versus Sar USA, so let's get into it. I have several Taurus handguns to feature, but these are the three that I'm going to show today. Let's start with the Taurus G3X. A lot of people love the G3C. The slide assembly, the barrel length, the trigger mechanism, all that remains the same. The primary difference with the G3X is the grip size and the magazine capacity instead of 12 rounds the g3x offers 15 rounds these are the same mags with the larger taurus g3 the g3 also has 17 round mags that will work in the g3x just fine but much like the g3c you may notice this has a thumb safety removed it has a tender for finish serrated black rear sights glock compatible pinned in front dot a accessory rail and a trigger that I am measuring right at four and a quarter pounds with a reset right there. It still has restrike capability, embodies many of the features people love with the G3C with higher capacity. Over here we've got a Taurus Defender 856. Now this is something that SAR USA does not do. They don't do revolvers and Taurus does. And the, the 856 Ultralight has an aluminum frame, a 3 inch barrel with a Ameriglow night sight on there. Tunneled rear sight. The Cerakote finish is on the barrel, the crane, and the cylinder. The rest is... A stainless look to it but it is aluminum it has hole grips they also make this with g10s and wood grips those are really nice it has a six shot cylinder that is plus p rated the msrp 446 and the single action trigger pull measures right around 6.5 pounds it's a nice shooting revolver there's no doubt about that and people really like the Taurus revolvers and what they have to offer. Here we have a G3 XL. The XL means the slide assembly and barrel length. Here we have a four inch barrel. The lower is the same as the G3C, but Taurus decided to stretch out that barrel and slide length go. to, you know, a four inch barrel. So it's a, it's a G3C XL with the four inch barrel. Everything else remains the same. The trigger pull, 12 round mags, share the same mags, MSRP, 343 for both of these. Here we have SAR USA. They have gained attention, a lot of attention, the last couple years, primarily with the SAR 9. I have two to show, so let's start right here with the SAR USA P8L. I am convinced this is a CZ SP01 copy. It has an all steel frame, definitely a heavy handgun, full size 4.6 inch barrel, rubber grips, 17 round mags. This is budget priced. All things considered and compared to the CZ SP01, I paid $529 for this. I'm not saying it's better. I'm just telling you. That's what I paid. Lightning cuts in the slide all throughout and it has ports in the barrel. See that? Making this an extremely smooth shooting handgun. Four and a half pound Single action trigger pull, double action is heavy. Does have a thumb safety right there. That'll lock up the trigger, drop that and you're good. Adjustable rear sights, a three dot format with a pinned in front dot. It is heavy, 46 ounces loaded with 18 rounds. Has that all steel frame making it very nice. But the flagship model, I truly believe is the SAR 9. This really put 
SAR USA on the map. People were picking this up around 250 bucks. Now it has raised over time. Now if you can get it in the lower 300s, you're doing well. But what I like about this is that it has additional grip panels and back straps, very HK-ish lower, very much. 17 round mags, full-size gun once again, with a 4.4 inch barrel full pick rail right there. A very nice trigger, right? It's got that, that red right there, and when that's no longer visible, it breaks right at five pounds. Reset right there. So it has the HK looking lower, many of the features of the HK, but it has a Glock looking upper. And I, I think this is a phenomenal handgun. You know, this one has a thumb safety that is ambidextrous. But people love the SAR-9. It, it's gained a ton of attention. A lot of people were picking it up cheap, and then they got it. They said, wow, this is really cool. And I've known that for years. I've had this for a while. SAR USA, SAR-9. Getting it done. I really like this P8L as well. They have some new models, and I'm hoping to get a hold of some of those in the future. So which manufacturer do you feel makes the better handguns? Is it Taurus or is it SAR USA? Let me know in the comments. I'll total them up and report the results with the next handgun showdown. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.